Time is precious in Overwatch. Time lets you push. Time lets you farm alts. Time lets you experiment. At the highest level of play, you take any time advantage that you can get. That's why pros do things like staggering. Staggering is stalling a kill on an enemy to delay their respawn and desynchronize them from the rest of their team. A 10 second respawn delay might not feel long, but over the course of a game, multiple staggers can eat up the time of an entire push. Outlaws learned this the hard way in the stage one playoffs, where a bunch of staggered deaths forced them into a Hail Mary play. Let's take a closer look at the semifinals of stage one. Now entering the temple of Anubis. This is a redemption game for London. The Outlaws brutally upset them 3 to 1 two days prior, and now they're poised to take a lead in the best of five. All they have to do is hold Anubis. The first defense is pretty simple. The Outlaws go for a three way dive to break the shield setup and make room for Lynxer. But a well placed Spider Mine tags D.Va and stalls her, letting Spitfire <laughs> capitalize on the offset engage timings. Not it's not so bad for Houston since their deaths weren't that spread apart, though it did leave Rockus and Jake in awkward positions. Next fight, the Outlaws juke right and dive mid, but Bonnie gets caught super early. This is when the staggers start. Outlaws have to back out, but Jake and Rockus are still stuck behind enemy lines. It takes London some time to sniff them out, but that's just extra time off the clock. Rockus' death gets staggered a full 13 seconds after Bonnie. Respawns cost 10 seconds, and walking to the gate costs another 10. That's 20 more seconds before Houston can regroup. For some bonus time, Birdring hits a crazy Spider-Man trick shot on Lynxer, and now Houston have to wait another 20 for the full regroup. Instead of waiting, Bonnie chooses to res Lynxer since Rock has just respawned. It means they're at a res disadvantage for the next 30 seconds, but it only takes 10 for Lynxer to get domed again. That's another 20 seconds! By their next full push, almost half of the Outlaw's time is gone. Houston knows Fury has no mech, so they dive him from mid and kill him. While Houston get the first pick, their initial engage leaves them all scattered. Bedosin drops cool map from up top and Prophet rip tires to buy time and space. He catches Winston and Tracer hunting them down and pops Winston just in time. At this point, London knows where every member of the Outlaws is, so it's just a matter of rotating around to hunt them down, burning even more time. Rockus dies a full 40 seconds after the fight starts, and by the time he can regroup, there's not much time left. With the heavily staggered deaths, Outlaws make their first ult push with just over a minute left, this time with Lynxer on Genji. Houston again dives from mid, but Prophet blows Winston up right as he lands. Mercy hits Valkyrie. The Outlaws are committing. She gets the res on Winston, but Birdwing picks both Genji and Mercy out of the air, denying the second res and most of the Valkyrie timer. It's just a matter of sweeping up the rest of the outnumbered Outlaws for London. This is where Houston really feel all of the staggered respawns. By the time they can regroup, there's less than 30 seconds left. They're out of time. Time lets you push, but Houston have to shove. They engage by chucking a self-destruct straight in, but it catches no one. Time lets you farm ults, and since Bird Ring has his, London can perfectly track every outlaw in the fight. Time lets you experiment, but Houston have no room for finesse. They're forced to dive straight in with an offensive transcendence. This is Houston's Hail Mary, and this is Prophet's Rip Tire. Later, Mary! Mercy falls right after Zenyatta, and with both supports down from the start, there's no sour patch moment for Houston. It starts and ends sour. After getting stomped by the Outlaws just days before, London deny every tick on Anubis, take the lead in the series, and eventually take sweet revenge with the 3-1 victory. With their spirits flying Spitfire high, they reverse sweep New York Excelsior in the Grand Finals to win the Stage 1 playoffs, good for an extra 100k. For more Overwatch interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.